this is uh, this is the dog tier list of RuneScape, going through all the dogs we know throughout uh, RuneScape. I think most of them, there might be one missing, if I remember correctly. I think one's missing, but I didn't make this tier list, I'm just doing what was given to me, so uh, it's not my problem. I believe the ones that are missing are the, the Hellhounds that come from Vetion himself, the ones he spawns. So they're not on the list, but that doesn't matter. Um, for the people watching this video on YouTube, when I upload it, I'm going to put a timestamp in the description to skip to the end, where we'll have a summary of everything. But I'm going to litter it with ad revenue, so basically uh, I just make a bunch of money from it, which is good for me. For everyone else that's here in the stream or that sits through the video when it's re-uploaded, I appreciate your time, I appreciate your patience. Uh, thank you for, for just not being an asshole in general. I've got a, a bunch of dogs here we're going to go through. No spec is currently not in here as well, which surprises me. I thought he would be because he's a fucking dog cunt. But we're going to start off today with the, the museum camp dog, who is always resting on the floor, I believe, near the bank. I could be wrong. Okay, he's a good boy. I believe you can also pet uh, pet the doggo. Absolutely nothing wrong with him. He doesn't do anything wrong to people. He's great content. He doesn't get in the way. And you don't have to kill it, which if you don't have to kill the dog, it's always a fucking bonus. This is the land that... Sorry, this is my land? Your dumb dog? No. You're completely missing S tier. See, a lot of you guys are already telling me where to put it, right? You guys know this is my tier list, not yours. I decide where the dogs go, but this is absolutely an S tier dog. This is a good boy. This is a boy that, uh, how do I say this? Well, look, it's a Border Collie, and I've always had Border Collies. Fun fact. This is a good boy. This is definitely an S tier dog. Most dogs are, let's be honest, and um, if you can pet it, it's going in S tier. It's that simple. I think you can feed it bones as well. Where's S tier? Up here. S tier for the museum camp dog. He's a good boy. Alright, next up, what the fuck dog is this? This is, okay, this is, this dog, I don't know if you can see it, but it is, uh, it's Bouncer, but the ghost Bouncer you have to fight in that mini quest, right? This is an angry boy. This is the dog that is not such a good boy, okay? This dog's an asshole. Um, you have to wear a ring of visibility. It's locked, but it's, you have to fight him in a quest, which I think gives you 10k XP. Who's off camera? Who's off camera, Khan? Sorry, I'm missing half the chat. So I just want to make sure I'm uh, doing the right thing. Want to get his name right? Whose name? This guy's. This name just is Museum Camp Dog. That's all it says. I don't know his name. Uh, but this dog is a terrible fucking dog. I don't like uh, Bouncer because he's actually an asshole. And um, I don't want to be going through a quest for 10k XP log behind. A dog shit goes dog, which I have to already fight twice. You've got to kill this dog. He comes back for seconds. Not a big fan. This is a C tier dog, okay? Because all dogs are good. But um, I'm not I'm not a fan of content restricted dogs like F tier dog. I'm um, sorry, C tier dogs like that come there. All right. He's not a good dog. He's not a good boy. I don't even know his name. Bouncer. I do know his name. Sorry, my apologies. Now, what is this dog? Okay. I know this one. Okay, no, I don't. Yes, I do. All right, cool. Thought so. So this is essentially, how do I say this? This is the most useless dog in the game, okay? This is the guard dog. Okay, this dog has one purpose, and that purpose is clue scrolls. All right? These dogs are found in the, the Argen Hoogen Schmoogen Dugan uh, yard around that one building in the middle of the town, which no one ever goes to. Why is it even there? There's no context, there's no law, there's no content in that building, except for when you have to get a key from this dog for a clue scroll. This is a terrible dog. All right, this content is dead on release. I, I don't quite under, maybe there's something in RuneScape 3 about this dog, but in all honesty, uh, they're just annoying and shit. And they just aggro on you when you're in the market for no reason. They're very inappropriate. I don't think, uh, I don't think there's, there's nothing, there's no value in these fucking dogs. They're really not. They're just a, a pain in the fucking ass. And taking our group home in life. Oh, this is the one in McGrubber's Woods as well, right? Same sort of dog. Even worse then, this is one that took our first group Iron Man life. Uh, which was Reese, by the way, who, who died because he didn't take cakes with him into McGrubber's wood, the wood, sorry. Hardcore is chanced by those cheeky dogs. Quite a lot of hardcores are chanced by this dog. I actually went to Bodhi's stream um, and tried to have uh, get his opinion on how dog shit Reese was for losing our first life to one of these dogs. And Bodhi had to condemn that these dogs are, in fact, assholes because they almost took his hardcore life as well. It's a very big... Uh, Obstacle for early level Iron Man who don't want to train the HP. These dogs suck. No one likes them and um, They're nothing but close scroll dogs around our own fucking uh, what are they called? Our own mansions. These are F tier dogs. These dogs 
cunt, have no content at all. They're dead content. These ones at least give you 10k XP once. Alright, next up, oh, the, this is going to be quite controversial. The next dog from RuneScape, okay? The next doge is the Hell Puppy Pet. Dropped from Cerberus, 1 in 5k chance, I believe. Alright, you got some boys here. Some people are going to not like what I have to say about this dog. Alright, as far as pets go, it's a good boy, okay? We can establish that. You can't pet it. I don't know what the interact uh, system is, but also, the worst part about this dog is it doesn't have three heads. I think it should be a three-headed dog, okay? The fact that it's only got one head kind of sucks, okay? You can't pet it. I don't even know if you can feed it bones. I don't know if you can use bones on it. I think it's quite content restricting for such a, an end game dog. And as such, it is not an S-tier dog. No, I'm sorry. There's potential content for this pet that has been missed by Jagex. And unless it's fixed, then it can't be S-tier. It's missing heads, which Cerberus has multiple heads. Okay? You can't pet it like other dogs. You can't even... Even if you could transmog it from one head to three heads, if the Cerberus could give us a drop, a, a drop for it, you know? It's interesting, it's just not a copy of the boss, but also uh, make it a copy of the boss because we want a little serve. Exactly. I think if, if, if you could even just transmog it, even if it requires having a drop, to be able to make it three heads, I'd be happy with that. Um, and if you can feed it bones, I don't know if you can. But I agree with the statement there, negative one rank for each head loss. This is a B tier dog. Okay, the Hell Puppy is absolutely B tier dog until further notice. Okay, you can't change my opinion on that. Next up, oh this boy, I know this boy. This is a good boy, okay. Now I've, I've done my fair share of dog petting around, uh, around RuneScape, okay. <clears throat> but um, there's one dog that has stood out to me the most, and that is the dog of the Myth Guild. I don't know his name, his name isn't relevant, apparently, but um, it's the Myth Guild dog. If anyone knows his name, please let me know, because it, apparently it's not on here, Hyper wasn't um, nice enough to give us a name, but he's a good boy. All dogs that you can pet are media S tiers, unless you have a, a counter argument, anybody? Spec has a pet of a lot of dogs around Murphy as well, yes he does. Scruff, that's the scruffy boy, it is, he's a good little boy, I like that dog. He's a good boy. Next up, we've got the Shadow Hound. Okay. When we were talking about dead content, this is a Desert Treasure and a Master Clue dog. This is it. But they don't actually have a purpose, okay? By Desert Treasure, you don't have to actually fight them. And by Master Clue, you also don't have to fight them. You literally just have to hope that they don't fucking kill you. That's it, okay? You just have to pray and be annoyed that they fucking exist. Um, so these dogs are, once again, annoying. They're not as bad as the guard dogs because by the time you're fighting these dogs, you should be fine. But also, um, fuck these dogs. Any dogs that get aggressive are really hard to justify without a, a good good means. And a lot of the time, the dogs are just... They, it, there's just no content. They don't even drop anything. They really don't. Which makes sense because they're dogs, but still... I just can't justify why this would be any higher than D tier. It's a shadow dog, and um, honestly, the less I have to do of it, the better. Again, it's restricted by the ring of visibility, and it just gets in the fucking way when you're trying to do content, which is annoying already. However, I think I found the worst dog in- no, I haven't. I found the second worst dog in the game. Okay. This is the- uh, this, I believe it's called the Terror Dog? Is it the Terror Dog? Yeah. Yeah, the Terror Dog. This is from Tarn's Lair. You guys know this boy. A little bit see-through because of the green screen, but we know about the Tarn's Lair dog, right? The Terror Dog. They... They're just... They're just fucking meatheads, okay? That's all they are. They're just big boys with big dicks for arms, and they don't do a whole lot else, okay? You never really fight them. Can you fight them as a Slayer Task? I don't know if you can. Um, but they're not... They're just not attractive. I don't even know if they've got eyes. They've got big hunches. They're just all around. They're just poorly designed. They're shit, okay? They really are just shit dogs. I don't. I think you have to kill them, or you don't even have to kill them. I think you just have to kill one for a diary. That's it. It's another dead content dog. It's unfortunate that, that dogs are uh, uh, portrayed as such poor content in this game, because really, they, they, don't, they don't have to be do that. The dog is there to protect the book. Exactly. And you don't even have to kill them to get the book. You have to kill it for the diary, that's it. So, 
they're not really enthusiastic dogs. They don't really offer a lot. They're just big green lumps of shit that uh, I am glad I don't have to deal with again. I believe you can kill for a task. Right, but who's doing dog tasks, right? And going, oh. He belongs in the bin, so he's staying there. I should pick that pin up, though. So I don't send it through my uh, foot later. Terror dogs are going in the bin, okay? They don't deserve a place on the fucking tier list. But I have found what I believe is the worst dog in the game. I don't know if anyone wants to take some guesses real quick before I expose the worst dog in the game. This dog is fucking terrible. Can't even use them for dog tasks from Terror, which uh, when point boosting, they're actually only Terror dog tasks. Well, that's the other thing. Even if you wanted to use them for skipping, for point boosting dog tasks, you wouldn't do them, would you? Because they're too fucking strong. The blood veil? What, cunt? Do you want a fucking punch in the head, mate? This is the this is the worst dog in the game right here, okay? And I want to make sure I get the name right before I say it. <coughs> yeah, okay. Gertrude's cat? That cat is a dog cat? You're thinking of the wrong sort of dog. This dog, the worst dog in the game, uh, is the Temple Guardian out of Priest in Peril. This dog is the, is like the most thick bag of shit I've ever seen in a video game. Reason being, you can fight it once and then it just kind of sits there, okay? It's not, it looks like, what the fuck is that design? Look at it. How can you even call that a dog? How is that class as a dog? Why? Because it's got four fucking legs. What is that face? It's like it's got a Frenchie's face with a fucking horn. And no one it's missing the hunch out of its back, which the terror dog has taken. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. This dog doesn't make sense. It barely deserves to exist on the list, but we've already thrown one in the bin. This is an F-tier dog. There is nothing about this dog that is special. It's actually it, it makes me sick knowing it fucking exists. And the fact I can't kill it again when I run past it disgusts me because I just want it to die. It's like a small dark beast. Kind of dark beast, so yeah, in a way, I get that. Fucking hell. Oh man, it looks like shit. But thinking, uh, well, speaking of what looks and obviously smells like shit, is anyone in the chat who hasn't liked the stream so far? Um, but on top of that, we now have the classic, an all time favorite, and an all time annoying as fuck little shit, the Varrock stray dog. This boy, look at him, he's missing some fur, he's got some fleas. This boy is uh, one he's, he's one pandemic away from becoming the root cause of China, right? So we have to be vigilant with our stray dogs and try not to, it's like feeding, it's like feeding the, uh, the seagulls at the beach, right? You just don't give them chips because they won't fuck off. It's like this guy, just don't walk into Varrock because he won't leave you the fuck alone. Um, but I like that it's probably the most interactive NPC dog in this game outside of combat. You can shoo it away, you can pet it, I think you can pet it now, right? And you can feed it bones. Um, and it's not, it, it's just, it's a humble dog, you know? It has a go at your cat when you walk past, which I'm a big fan of because fuck cats in this game. I had a wily cat and it turned into a fat fuck within five minutes. I, I fully endorse this dog having to go at my cat next time I see it. So. Um, I don't think I want to put an S tier. I think I'm having to make it an A tier dog. Because while S is for stray, uh, stray is also for homeless. And it stinks, okay? And the, the homeless and, and the, the smelly, poor, poorly uh, hygiene, the poor hygiene dogs do not get S tier rank. I'm sorry. But no, it's not happening. He could be an A tier dog and I'll leave him at that. Alright? Now, what the fuck dog is this? Okay. Good, just make sure I'm correct before I say this. I make sure I have cooked meat in my inventory every time I go to Varric for that dog. Fuck that, you're a weak can eh? Alright. So now we've got the classic Hellhound. Just a Hellhound. Nothing special. You know. Um, Slayer Task. They're updating the Hellhounds now so you can get insult heads. Uh, from from them, so you can start getting some decent Slayer XP. I think it's a thousand Slayer XP per head, one in forty chance of dropping. So definitely worth getting. Um, my opinion, one of the better Slayer tasks because they are AFK. You can do Cerberus if you have a high enough Slayer level, and um, they provided you don't give a shit about clue scrolls, you can do the whole task in one run. So it's not too bad um, of a Slayer task. They're good boys. They got low defense. They got high attack. Just pray melee and um, fucking send it. 
not too bad of a dog to be honest. They are good boys, but uh, you can't pet them. You can't pet a hellhound. So uh, A tier, I love when noobs die to them. Now I'm going to make it a B tier dog along with the, the hell puppy because at the end of the day, it still only has one head. Okay, they're good, but they're not that good. What the fuck is this? Oh god, these! Oh Jesus Christ! Um, next up, we've got the jackal. You know the desert. You know those little dogs that no one gives a shit about. Yeah, that's E tier. That's it. I have nothing to say about that. Fucking E tier. What the fuck is this? Hold on. What the hell is that? No, what's that? Right, hold on, I think I've made a mistake. Shit. This isn't... This isn't the shadow dog. This is the shadow dog. Alright, sorry. Wrong picture, boys, wrong picture. Wrong picture. Okay, they look similar. From back here, can you tell the difference? You probably can't, okay? The difference is the tail, alright? So this one is actually the wild dog. I have no idea what the fuck the wild dog is. Where are the wild dogs? Where, does anyone know where to find wild dogs? Can we, uh... Why are they all grey? Why is what all grey? The dogs? Probably because of the, uh... The green screen filter. Brimhaven Dungeon? Oh. So they're dead content. Does anyone use Brimhaven Dungeon here? Does anyone run through it unironically? Pays the entry fee? Runs through? No? Didn't think so. Cool. That's, uh... Another E tier dog right there. Northern Bronze Dragon. So no one uses them. No one cares about them. Now we've got a personal favourite of mine coming up, guys. Personal favourite. Um, I, I didn't actually know this dog existed for a very long time until recently. And honestly, I think this is the best dog in the game. By far. You've got, uh... <laughs> he's a big boy. You've got the boy, Frank. The best dog in the fucking game. Look at that boy. Who doesn't want a blood veld for a fucking dog that you can pet and his name's Frank? How fucking good is that? Alright? That's uh... It doesn't get much better than that. That is Frank the Tank, exactly. Frank, straight in the wang bank, dude. Straight to fucking S tier. There's no debating it. In fact, I'm putting him up the front of S tier because he is the fucking best. Okay, there's no... There's no fucking... There's no debating Frank, right? Frank is... Frank is God tier. If I could go above S tier, I can't because my green screen stops right here. I fucking would, alright? What about the diseased ones in Dark Mare? I don't have any information on that, I'm not sure. I've got a few left still, they might be in this list. I don't know, but in the meantime, we've now got... The other end of the spectrum, we have... Cerberus, the man himself, or the dog himself. Okay? Frank tier, yeah, Frank should be above SA. Frank, Frank is the best, I love Frank. But what about Cerberus? He's profitable. Has good loot, especially as an Iron Man, because he drops ashes. Okay, good Slayer XP. Pretty rewarding. Does take time to be able to unlock him. Not too much of a travel if you have 80 uh, agility. Cerberus is female. Cerberus, I don't give a fuck what gender Cerberus is, okay? I couldn't give two thirds of a shit, okay? Can suck a fat one. Cerberus would be a A tier at least. I don't know if A tier is correct. Probably because the Hell Puppy has to be B. So for like, uh, consistency, and uh, I guess you could say, to abide with law, it's not too bad. Doesn't drop best in slot boots, though, no, you're correct, he doesn't drop best in slot boots. Um, however, I don't think many dogs on here do, if any, at all, so I can't really hold that against him. Um, but I th personally, let me tell you why I don't think he's A tier, okay? When I have a Hellhound task, in fact, when anyone in the, ta in the chat here has a Hellhound task, how often do you do a, whole, a full 100 and... 50 kill task of just Cerberus. Do you not stop and do a bit of Hellhounds? Do you not consider doing Hellhounds instead? Or do you do every single task of Cerberus all the time? Or do you find yourself doing some Hellhounds? Find yourself doing Hellhounds instead completely? Okay? How many of you decide Hellhounds are better off doing than Cerberus? Cerberus A tier? You're wrong. But um, because uh, because you paid for it, I am a sellout, and two dollars is enough to put him in A tier. But I just want to go on the record now to say Cerberus is more like a fucking C tier. C for Cerberus, okay? Did it at one session. Hellhound task was served once, took 12 hours. Yeah, fuck that, you know? Always do all my kills at Cerb. 
Blow her hands before I lost her. You're a weird person, Pennywise. Pat Star, I don't even want to thank you for that $2 donation, to be honest. I just want to acknowledge that it is A tier, and I disagree with your donation. What the f- Serb as a tier. This is a lie. Now, skip Hellhounds, you're a dickhead, eh? They're like a half an hour task. Put the cannon down if you're really desperate. Can't be below Hell Puppy? Yeah, you can. 100%. Of course, because you only... You, the reason you'd be below Hell Puppy is because you're looking for this. You're not going to Cerberus for Cerberus, you're going to Cerberus for the Hell Puppy. Cerberus F tier, Mole's the best in slot, and that's bigger than $2? Sure. Sounds good. Cerberus, absolutely F tier. I will, I will take that easy. Where's F down here? Good stuff. Thank you, Forehead. Thank you for listening to Reason. I would have put in C tier, but... I can work with F tier, that's not a problem. Alright. C Shanty 2 is playing? Hell yeah. What the f We've now got a bigger um, Serb as F tier moles are this. Arguably one of the best dogs in the game. I think we need to discuss this one on a serious level. I think it's everyone's favourite. The the bloodhound. The boy with the hat and the, the, the thing out of his mouth and the and the good boy and the, the master clear reward and the I wish I fucking have one but I can't seem to get one no matter how fucking hard I try. Honestly, I, I don't think... This was the best dog in the game until I discovered Frank, to be honest. It has to be S tier, 100%. I don't think we can... Is there anyone in the chat that would ever debate that? You can't pet him, I don't care. He's the pet to have. Don't refer to pedophiles and... Diddlinos. Did Diddlinos? Excuse me? Bloodhound boy got banked, mo ro rocking the Milliworth uh, of hat. Is that the Robin Hood hat? No, that's the detective hat. That's not the Robin Hood hat. Alright. Now we've got this one. Um, what the fuck is this? Reanimated dog. I didn't know you could reanimate these yet. Are, are there dog heads I don't, I don't know about? Is this not the Hellhound thing that's coming out soon? Or are there dog heads somewhere that I should know about in Seoul? I don't quite understand this one. Um, it is hard to get, yeah, the Bloodhound for sure. Insult Doghead? Okay, cool. So, purple looks nice? It does look nice, doesn't it? Um, I don't really... I'm not... I think once Hellhound Insult Heads come out, I'll probably be on Insult Heads a lot more. I don't really touch this content. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I've also never known it existed till now, so it's really dead to me. And uh, dead is D tier. We don't care about that shit either. Okay? This is all crap. These are all dogs that just don't fucking matter in this game. That would, They could be removed from the game and nothing would change, okay? We could live on happily. Oh, I've got two more still. Hell yeah. Alright. We've got the original, alive, and annoying, bouncer. Okay? Same as the ghost one, except the first time you kill him. Okay? I think, what? Did you do this in a quest? Bouncer. You do, you kill bouncer in um, the fight arena, right? Pretty easy, just say spot him. He's pretty useless, pathetic dog. Do you get full XP for it? I think you do. Um, I don't know where the fuck the ghost comes from. I'm pretty sure the ghost is the mini quest after. So, as for Bouncer, pretty A tier quest, pretty mandatory, pretty standard, and it's a good reward. And you can say spot him. No quant of this dog, pretty easy. I'm gonna put him at a. Uh, I'll put him at C. Is that C tier? Yeah, C tier with the other Bouncer. Why not? C tier because I like him, C tier because I don't like him. Alright? Mixed results, but I don't care. I just got a pet my group I went, nice dude. Need high quality tier for Border Collie. Oh, S tier is where pretty much it went un unarguably, Remigo. I would like to think I could, but uh, it's the best I could do. Same for Frank, unfortunately. And finally, what have we got here? What the fuck is this? The final dog is um, just called Dog. Does anyone know where this guy comes from? Because. Oh, so Ghost Bounce is the second ghostly quest, not the 10k XP lamp? Oh, he's fucking going downtown then. Nah, put him down here. Fuck him. There you go. I feel like I'm gonna knock my whole green screen over, eh? If I go too hard. Alright, that's probably more appropriate then. Um, where does this dog come from? Where the fuck is Mark? I wish I knew where Mark was, but Hyper made the, uh... Hyper made the list and she left a bunch of fucking dogs off, so... I'm willing to throw her name under the bus. Okay, but I'm willing to make my own versions of the dogs, don't worry. This is the Hostidious Castle Dog. Faldor Farm Dog. Oh, this is the Faldor Farm Dog, is it? 
What did I leave? You left off Mark. The Mark of the Grace dog. Piper. Mark is like the OG dog. Connor called me you earlier. Interesting. I wonder why. Faldor Farm. Okay, I didn't know this dog existed, but can you pet the dog? That's the question, guys. Can we pet the dog? That's all I need to know. Hyper F tier dog for leaving some champions off the list. Yeah. Fair enough. If we can pet this dog, it's A, it's a, a tier. I need to get some paper that's not important. What's this? A declaration of what? Can I draw on this? Yeah, I'd imagine I can draw on that. That's cool. You can pet it. Stick him in the A tier. That's a good boy. Alright. Now, unfortunately, due to the inconfidence of our, um, our trusted cunt, our trusted, uh, tier list maker, we have to make our own, uh, make, make our own doggies, okay? So, I don't know how to draw a dog. Okay? But we've got, we've got a good boy here. I'm sorry, guys, that this is an emergency drawing, but we've had to draw Mark. And that's the best I can do, okay? I'm sorry that I couldn't do any better, but I'm not a very good drawer, and it was a speed run. I have to be on the ball. So we've got Mark from the Mark of the Grace, arguably one of the best dogs in the game, is always, of course, S tier. I would like to just acknowledge that it wasn't my fault he wasn't on the list. Pretty close, yeah, he was just standing here, but in game he lies down, so I think we're allowed to, you know, we'll just take it as it is. We'll allow Mark to be up there, and I think, uh, it's, uh, I've got another half a paper here. I should also put on the, uh... How do I draw this? Fuck. Alright. You've got a b another dog here, okay? There's two of these per life. Or three, four, I don't fucking know. These are the Vedion Skeleton Hounds, okay? It just says Vetion, alright? Just let it happen. That's the rib cage. Alright, allow the drawing. We have to put it on the list because we know that they're off. That's a drawing. It looks like he printed it from the wiki. I am a man of many talents. I'll, let, I'll admit that for sure. Only six months of dragon? Hell yeah, Salmon Sounds. I'm fucking keen, dude. How you doing, man? What's up? Callisto is a fucking bear cunt. Callisto is not a dog. Bark, bark, bark. Are you a fucking Wait, idiot? Evie is not a dog, or is it? I don't know. Is Evie a dog? I don't think so. I don't think he was a dog. Let's go to Hellhound, also in the Murray quest. There you go. Let's go to Hellhound, okay? Asshole. Do you know what the worst thing about these dogs is? Is the fact that people will half kill Vedion and then lure the dogs away from Vedion and just leave them. They'll just leave the dogs. And then you'll be hitting Vedion and you can't damage him because the dogs are out there somewhere and he's regen full health. Why is there a walking flashlight in S tier? Flashlight or flashlight? This one here, that's a flashlight, man. That ain't no flashlight. That's because Frank is S tier. That's what happened to me just now. It's a pain in the ass, isn't it? These dogs suck ass. So, um, they're going in the D tier because... I think Vedion is a really cool boss. This bit of Vedion just fucking sucks. Okay? That's that's gonna wrap up this, the, the whole tier list right there, guys, for the RuneScape dogs and where they all sit now. I know it's not the most uh, eccentric tier list, but guess what? I don't care. No, no one does that on purpose. They just had their asses clapped by PKs. That's probably the a, more of a fact, to be honest. But the the result is still the same. That you're now stuck with dogs that are fucking nowhere, and uh, Vedion can't be killed, and it's fucking annoying. But that's the result, there, guys. Now, if you were watching the video, you would have skipped to uh, this part here, the summary. I'm going to litter it with ad revenue from here onwards because you're an asshole and didn't watch the whole video. But uh, for everyone else, I'm going to run through basically the tier list here that we've got for the, ro uh, the dogs in Old School RuneScape, starting with this one. What's this one here? Terror Dog. The Terror Dog is essentially like, I hope, for the sake of the rest of RuneScape, this lump on the Terror Dog's back is cancer, okay? These are dog shit. These don't deserve to be on the list. Out of it, okay? Get rid of them. Absolute fucking garbage. Now.
What fucking dog is that? That's the that's the guard dog, right? The one that kills hardcores. Fuck that dog, okay? Along with this, another another absolute fucking tumor of a dog. The 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 guard temple guardian, absolutely fucking disgusting, okay? And uh, Cerberus. Now Cerberus, I would have realistically put C tier, but it was uh, donated by some fucking moron. Who was it? Pat Star. Uh, he, he donated. A, a very small amount of money, might I add, to, to put him at A tier, and I disagreed with it. And then Forehead the Champion donated a little bit more than that small amount of money to make it F tier. So therefore, he's F tier. My personal opinion would be C, but facts are facts, and uh, Jagex, or the old school team at least, send this information to me. I present it to you guys. This is how it is. This is now law. So, Cerberus is uh, no DMX on the list. No, DMX died, unfortunately. Rest in peace. Uh, be back in 20 minutes, couple of cocks on the menu. Hell yeah, sounds good. We'll be doing change to Zarek in a second, boys. Now, uh, E tier dogs. We've got jackals. They're shit. We've got... What fucking dog is that? Wild dog. They're shit. You've got... Bouncer. He's also shit. He was up here, but that turns out he isn't the one that gives you 10k XP lamp. He's the one that gives you ghostly robes. Garbage. Don't need it, okay? Next up, we've got Shadow Dogs. Shadow Dogs, yeah. They're also shit, okay? They're just annoying. In fact, I barely... I don't even want them in D tier, if I'm honest with you. You've got Insult Heads. Um, sorry, Insult Heads. Insult Reanimated... Reanimated Dogs? I've never done them, so this is personally me putting them at D. That's more spiteful, but... Um, also, I don't imagine a lot of people doing dog content anyway. Serb is A tier for five dollars. I can't argue with the, the money as a as a streamer and a content creator. Being a sellout is uh, eighty percent of our nature. And um, if anyone tells you otherwise, no, we will dance for money like monkeys. Okay. And um, you've got the Vetti on skeletal hounds, which were left off the list by yes, it was a uh, Piper who made the made the tier list. What the she wants to. Made Serb as a tier. This concrete information that you guys know Hyper made the tier list. So I'm going to make sure you're all aware that she also left the, the Vedion dogs off the list. You've got Bouncer again, but this time he's alive and important because it's in a decent quest that gives good XP, which is the Fight Arena. So he gets C tier. Now you've got the uh, B tier dogs. B tier dogs, you've got the Hell Puppy. Alright guys, Hell Puppy is B tier because one, it's one of the only non-combat dogs in the game which you can't pet. I don't think you can feed it bones or meat. And it doesn't have three heads like Cerberus, which why the fuck not? Now, I think it would be cool if we can have a transmog so you can make it have three heads, but um, until then, it's definitely not S tier because negative one rank for every missing head. Okay, and then you've got the normal Hellhound. I think Hellhounds are overall just great content in the game because it's an easy task. You can swap between that and Cerberus anytime you want. They're great XP, they're AFK, you can do the whole thing in one trip almost every time. Where's the. Where's King Connor on the tier list? Dog cunt? Um, fuck you. I don't have a response for that, so fuck you. A tier. Uh, the Stray Dog and Barrow. Any debates? Didn't think so. Um, we got the, the, the Falador Farm Dog, which you can pet, so he's automatically A tier. That's a good boy. I didn't know he existed. And then as you just saw, um, don't worry, Cerberus was... Excuse me. Cerberus was A tier for five dollars, but for five... Euro and ten. What the? Uh, whatever Serve the fuck still it is before a dollar in euro, um, is back to back to F tier. So don't worry about it, boys. And then there's an, what's this other one from LK Catwolf? Dance monkey, give me a nice little jig while I make what the? sulfurous compost. Dance monkey, give me a nice little jig while I make sulfurous Excuse compost me, for cunt. way too long. Okay. Alright guys, I'm trying to do a fucking tier list here. Um... What, what... What do I do, what do I do now? You, you, you just kind of put a pause on the fucking... What the? Six quid is the highest bid. Serve six in quid the is bin. higher than six dollars. Be right, I appreciate the American dollars, but... Since uh, the British pound isn't backed by gold, they beat you. And I think Cerberus has to go on the bin. So it stays in the bin, I think, so pounds is worth more than the dollar. Oh, I, I just what lost the? Cerberus. Where the fuck? Oh, he's over here. Cerber tier. Guys, please be mindful that I'm trying to wrap this tier list up so we can do some change to Zerat content. Um, Cerberus can go on the bin. It's fucking toxic, but... Big Rod, if you feel scammed out of that $6, 
I just want you to know that there are no refunds and that's just sometimes life hands you dog shit. It's up to you whether you eat it or throw it at someone else, my friend. Okay? Cerberus has to, is removed from the list. I didn't I didn't rip him up because I I, I felt really bad, but he's he's in the bin, okay? He's gone. Don't fucking bring him back. Now. A A tier? We did A tier. S tier. These are the these are the these are the dogs, okay? These are the ones that, that matter in this game. I think if it comes to content in this game, including Cerberus, they can all be removed and we won't lose anything in game. But if we lose these boys, we lose a lot of happiness, we lose a lot of light, we lose motivation to do master fucking clues, okay? These are the dogs that matter, these are the dogs that pet, and I do want to drill this point home that Hyper, who wants it to be made clear that she made the Uwu all hail max by the way tier list for dogs, Forgot to put Mark on there, the most important dog in the game, I believe, which is uh, the the dog that we, that is where the marks of grace are spent for full graceful and those little crystals to make stamina potions. So Mark is S tier dog, okay, along with the Bloodhound out of the Master Clue, which I think there's no debating that ever in this game. You get the uh, the Myth Guild dog, which is a badass dog, a scruffy little boy, and the Museum Camp, camp sorry, and of course. Um, my, my newest and personal favorite of all time, Frank the fucking tank. The, the, the walking flashlight, okay, the big boy. The pink dog with a nice juicy tongue. Walk around dark, mate. If you see Frank, give him a pet and give him a spank. Because Frank is my fucking boy. He's, uh, he, goes, he goes home is probably the, the best, if not my most favorite. I've got to adjust my pants, sorry boys. The, the most ideal fucking pet, or dog should I say, in the game. I'm a big fan of Frank, I am. I'd be happy with any of those dogs. Unfortunately, only two can, well, only one can be following you, so. Next time you're around RuneScape, and you, you see the dogs, you know the tier list now, you know the conversation to be had, you see these dogs, you call them good boys. You see any of these dogs, you say, fuck you, okay? I wanna see written out, typed, fuck you, screenshotted and sent into my Discord. I wanna see someone, the first person to go to every one of these dogs from A tier versus B tier and below, and a screenshot of every dog being told fuck you in game, I'm gonna give you a, I'll give you a bond, okay? I want every single dog on this list, including the ones thrown away. You saying fuck you to each dog, all right? And then I want you saying good boy and petting each of these dogs. I'll give you a bond to the first person to send me all of those in one file, please. Don't send separate fucking screenshots, because I can't be fucked. Just put them in a folder and send them to me on Discord at discord.gg slash bigdickenergy. If you're watching the stream, you have a head start now. If you are watching this when it's uploaded, get to fucking work. I'll let you know if someone does it, alright? So, that's the dog tier list wrapped up there. Alright, now fuck off. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, god damn! Fuck me, look at that boy. Yeah.